the British are coming. The British are coming right into the war zone to battle each other for the chance to compete in round two. Let's go to the battle board and get the matchup. All right, Vic, we're going to see Cat 3 up against the reigning world champ, the Razor. And now let's go down to Carol. Right outside the tunnel, we're gearing up for the international special. Cat 3 just went in. Hold on one second. We got Razor here. They are the two-time world champions. How do you feel going into the tunnel? Not too bad, actually. I mean, they got a good machine, but the axe they've got, it's no match for this. Well, Simon, you sound pretty confident. How about you, Ian? Yeah, it's a little bit of a slow machine. We should be able to outdrive it. They're nice guys, you know, so we'll take it easy on them. They're nice guys. It doesn't matter if they're nice, they're nice guys. Once nice. you get in the arena, who cares? Well, I don't want to break your concentration. Head towards the tunnel. I wish you lots of luck. All right, thanks. Thank you. in Surrey in the UK, Cat 3. And from the United Kingdom, Cat 3, who's running an axe with a thousand pounds per square inch of force. Let's see if they can put it to use. Hi, I'm Keith Williams. This is George Reed and Julianne Williams. Our robot is Cat 3. We're back for another wars with a big pneumatic axe, hoping to decimate the opposition. From Bournemouth in the UK, Razor. And there's the awesome reigning world champion Razor at 213 pounds with some major crushing power on that front spike and some major pushing power. I mean, Lewis from Team Razor, we're going to find the best of British in this international competition and then we're going to go on to the best of the American box. We'll take them all on, I tell you. We're the top dogs, we're the world champs, we're the team to beat. Yeah. Razor is going to be coming at you. Stand by. There's the Cat 3 team with the fluffy ears. And the ones to watch, the Razor team. And guarding that corner patrol zone, shunt with a diamond edge axe. And the other corner is guarded by Sergeant Bash with a flamethrower. Three, two, one. Well, by all accounts, Cat 3 has got its work cut out for him. The world reigning champ, Razor, definitely got that title by some major demolition and some severe carnage, which it's inflicting on Cat 3 immediately. There is no escape in the Razor. When that thing wants to clamp down on you, you're not going nowhere. Poor Cat 3 is flailing about with their axe, but they cannot connect. They might be lucky to get an arena floor, but certainly Razor is gonna stay out of trouble. Goes in from the side, great bit of technique and driving on the Razor's part. They've done this before and they know what to do now. Cat 3 is looking concerned as we see Razor go back in from the ref cam and just bite down inside a Cat 3. The poor Cat 3 team better get out of the way if they know what's good for him before Razor has a complete meal. And that thing looks hungry. Well, I think possibly Cat 3 may be having no drive whatsoever because they are not moving. They've got a little axe power, but that's not enough to move the bot. RefBot is looking very closely to see if there's any immobilization here. And I think Razor has done its work early on in this round. As Razor is pushing Cat 3 back and probably into a corner patrol zone. Although they're just playing and Bash comes out of his zone and hits the pin trigger. He wants to get this thing over with as Rathbot goes for the countdown. Poor Cat 3 was out of it before it even began. And the Razor was showing what he's made out of and why he is world champion. A razor goes to angle for Cat 3 to his inevitable burial. And the audience knows what time it is. Goodbye. Razor dumps Cat 3 in a cataclysmic Six. event. Well, that was a catastrophe. <laughs> The world champion, the legendary Razor, lives up to its status, steamrolling over the cat in our international competition. Cat. Um, 
Were you intimidated at all? I'm just saying that because, uh, let's face it, you're, you're up against the world champion, the Razor. I'm the host, and I'm a little bit intimidated <laughs> by these guys. What was it like to be out there? They're a very scary bunch of boys. Very scary? Do you think maybe oh, yeah. it prevented you from doing your absolute best out there? No, I think they were good on us. They, they're a fantastic robot, great team. It seemed to me, guys, like almost maybe you could have put them away a little sooner. Maybe you were, in a sense, playing a game of cat and mouse with the cat <laughs> yeah. being the mouse. Yeah, we got to do well, We like these guys, so uh, we were gentle, if you can call it that. Like. <laughs> okay, now, yeah. as far as Tornado, can we look for a little bit more ruthless performance from the Razor? Well, those guys, I mean, they're asking for it, really, aren't they, Mick? I mean, they're going to get it right where it counts, I tell you. All right, yeah. strong words from the world champion, but he can back them up. Let's hear it for all our Roboteers. There it is, confirmation. World reigning champ Razor goes through to the semis. And here's how those semis look. Manta and General Chompsalot up first. Cat's claws were useless against Razor as she was crushed, immobilized, and then counted out of the match. Razor moves on to round two against Tornado. When we come back, the round two matchups give us a U.S. and U.K. finalist and a chance to recreate the American Revolution.